Hi, ever wondered how huge Delta Airlines is and how your home network grew? Did you know Air Wisconsin connected only the Midwest in the early 90s, only the West in the late 90s, and only the Middle East and East lately? We are the airline network WIS team, and the goal of our design is to visualize the network distribution and certain properties of an airline network, such as centrality and how they changed over a period of time. Contemporary airline analytics tools lack an overview of network distribution over time and its temporal correlation to other properties. And our design is an improvement on static network graphs used in most airline route maps. We developed an analytical and exploratory tool that enables the visualization of the network and graph properties of airlines over the past 28 years ranging from 1990 to 2018. When the user lands on a web page, they are displayed a tutorial screen that guides them through the process of using our tool. We have a multi-coordinated set of views that provides a different perspective of the data set that we are visualizing. The heat map provides an overview of the change in the network of an airline over the past 28 years. Each row in the heat map indicates the year and each column represents the corresponding airport. The color of each cell represents the centrality or in other words the importance of that particular airport in the given year for the corresponding airline. We have provided options to sort the data in the heat map based on different properties of the network that helps provide a different perspective of the data. Clicking on each cell in the heat map highlights the data across all the different views. We have the option to search for a particular airport, which in turn highlights the airports in all of the different views. We have a geo map that displays the actual connections between the different airports for a given year that's indicated in each row of the heat map. We've used the geo map because this provides a visual understanding of the actual geographic data and is a natural way to display geographic data. We also have a couple of standard views. We have a scatter plot that displays the variation of degree against centrality and a line chart that shows the variation of the number of passengers flying out of a particular airport over the past few years. The user also has the option to choose a different airline that updates all of the different views. Now let's visualize the data for Air Wisconsin. In the year 2018, we see that there are three primary hubs for the airline. If you hover over each node in the geo map, they're correspondingly highlighted in all of the different views. You can see that this particular hub is the Chicago O'Hare International Airport, which has a high degree and centrality, and for which the number of passengers rose until the year 2000 four after which there's been a steady decrease and a corresponding increase again into the year 2018. You can see from the heat map that there has been a difference in the distribution of the importance of the airport. Up until the year 2006, there seem to be hubs that are mostly distributed in the West and the Midwest. You can see that there are hubs distributed in the West, in the Midwest particularly. But you can see that after the year 2007, most of the hubs have moved towards the east. For instance, if we go back to year 2018, you see that the hubs are primarily in the east, with one particular hub here in Chicago. You can sort the data again based on the latitude, which displays the data from north to south or by centrality which ranges from high centrality to an area of low centrality. This view gives an idea of the number of the percentage of airports a particular airline flies to. Let's try and visualize the data for Delta Airlines now. And as is visible, all the views are a lot more populated than they were for Air Wisconsin. There are a lot more hubs distributed across all regions for Delta Airlines. And this one particular hub tends to stand out. As you might have already guessed, yes, this is Atlanta. Let's compare Atlanta with another hub of Delta, which is Cincinnati. The brush and link feature of our WIS allows users to do this. Let's try it. Here you go. 
Now, the user can compare different network measures such as passenger trends, degrees and centralities for all the airports in the Brush region. We believe that our visualization can be used by a wide variety of users such as investors to make informed decisions, by airline professionals to analyze their competitors over years, project growth and decline and also strategize their network layouts. It can also be used by airline enthusiasts like us to be informed about how a favorite airline or home airport changed over years.